guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create these. Without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Let's create a composition with full HD settings with 60 FPS. By the way, you can choose your own settings, no problem with that. But make sure you set the duration at least 5 seconds or more. Give it a name you want. Choose a background color you like, I am taking white as a background color. Alright. Now take the ellipse tool and make a perfect circle by holding the shift button. Just like this. Now double click on the anchor tool by holding the control key on your keyboard to center the anchor point. Now open the ellipse 1 and go to stroke and set a value you like. Now set a keyframe at the first frame, then go to 1 second and set the stroke value to 0. Change the butt cap to round cap. Now click two times on the dashes. Then set the dash value to 0 and gap value to something like 61. Now go to this transform of ellipse 1. And set a keyframe on the scale and set its value to 0, then go to 1 second and set the value to 100. Press spacebar to ramp review it. Cool. Select the layer and press U to see the applied keyframes, then select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. We are done with this. Now, select the layer and change its name you like. Let's hide this layer for now and also lock this layer so it won't disturb us when we create the second type of explosion. Now select the round tool, fill a color you like, and also remove the stroke for now. Then create a perfect circle by holding the shift key, just like this. Align it to the center of the comp. Now select the ellipse 1 layer and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Now open ellipse 1 and add a keyframe on the scale and set the value to 0. The go to 1 second and set the value to 100. Then open ellipse 2 and do the same as ellipse 1. OK. Click on the Add and select Merge Paths. Then change the mode to Subtract. Make sure that you arrange the layer like this, first Ellipse 2, then Ellipse 1 and, and then Merge Paths 1. Otherwise, the result will be different. Alright. Now select the layer and press U to see the applied keyframes. Select them and press F9 to easy ease them. Now, select the Ellipse 1 keyframes and offset it a little bit. Press Spacebar to ramp review it. OK, we are done with this. Select the layer and rename it Circle Explosion. OK, let's create the final explosion. Lock this layer for now and also hide it. First, choose the title action Save Grid. Then grab the pen tool and add a stroke color you like, also turn off the fill. Then draw a line from the center, just like this. Nice. Now take the anchor tool and place the anchor point to this position.
go to shape 1, then select stroke 1, and change the butt cap to round cap. Now, click the add button, and select the repeater. Open repeater 1, change the copy's value to 12. Then open transform, then change the position value to 0. Also change the rotation value to 30. Now drag the Y anchor point to create a gap between these lines. Just like this. Let's place it in the middle. Then click the add button and select trim paths. Open trim paths and set these both values to zero. Now go to the first frame and add keyframes on both start and end. Now go forward to a few seconds and set both values to 100. Alright, now select the layer and press U to see the applied keyframes. Now select end keyframes and offset it a little bit. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Let's review it. Alright, it looks nice to me. Let's change the layer name to line explosion. Okay, we are done. Let's turn off the grid. Now we can unlock the other layers. Let's pre-compass these layers so we can use these in the different projects. Hey! You can make something cool unique explosion with these. Check this out. Boom! Wow! It's cool! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up! And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.